I see Monarch ain't the only pet project the board's willing to abandon. Whatever happened here must have been real bad. Spacer's Choice just up and abandoned it.
woman from Monarch is plugging her nose, you know you've made some poor life choices. Oh, Lord. It reeks like death warmed over. I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> Okay? We can make it through this. Right? After the nightmare that was the chem lab, I think we're about ready for anything. Subjects have to die before you decide to build a dedicated autopsy room? I don't want to see no more. I, I can't take this. I... But why?
I knew this place wasn't going to be some pleasant seaside stroll, Captain, but I... I don't know how I can live with what we've seen here. Not just inexcusable. Evil. This was just wrong. They knew, Captain. Spacer's choice. Someone's got to do something about this. Got to hold folks to account. Maybe it should be us. Maybe Miss Ambrose can help fix things once she's cleared her family name. I used to think the beasts on Monarch were bad. At least they aren't cruel. These people chose to do this.
This can't be worse than anything we already seen. to the Adrena Time Synthesis and Manufactory Center, brought to you by Spacer's Choice. This productivity auto-mechanical unit is at your disposal. Its normal duties involve the management of legacy operations analytics. However, due to the promotion, demotion, death, or injury to other managers of this facility, this unit is now the acting manager of the following departments. Reception, Human Resources, Accounting, Technical Support, Manufacturing, Distribution, Security. Please direct any questions about those departments to Pam. Answers not guaranteed. According to this facility's hierarchy, there are zero acting managers at this Spacer's Choice facility. Not to worry. If a middle manager cannot immediately be replaced, Pam can safely oversee 3.176 departments. When you're in a productivity pinch, Pam can pick up the pieces. Uh-oh. It looks like there are intruders in this facility. Protocol recommends speaking to the head of facility security right away. Did you know that keeping your workers alive boosts productivity? That's why every Pam unit comes equipped with the latest Spacer's Choice weaponry. When Pam's emergency combat protocols are activated, your investments are sure to be protected. Warning. Due to power consumption, combat protocols cannot be activated when PAM's power is below 73% without deactivating managerial processes. Spacer's Choice Policy dictates that managerial processes take priority. This unit's power rate hate messing with tangled cables or confusing batteries. With PAM, you'll never have to. Just pop in a Firefly brand industrial strength battery and PAM's ready to go. Out of batteries and need productivity now? No problem! Just hook emergency combat protocols cannot be engaged at less than 73% power without proper authorization. Please ensure that this unit is fully charged. I could give it a shot. Let me just... Huh. Okay. Weird way to do that, but there ain't no accounting for sense. There we go. All I had to do was convince this old girl here that 73% was the new 100%. Easy as cell tuna and sawdust pie. This unit's power rating is 100%. Great! Emergency combat protocols are now available. Error. Employee's biometric ID does not match this unit's designated manager. Proceeding with verbal management test. Pretend that this PAM unit is one of your employees who has been working long hours. What would you say? Like any good manager, Pam comes equipped with an emergency pep pill dispenser. Employees passing out at their desk is a thing of the past. Verbal management test complete. Result. Employee is a spacer's choice manager. 94% certainty. Engaging emergency combat protocols. Stand by. This is gonna haunt me later. I can already feel it.
Performing an air Incoming! I'm impressed or suspicious. I'm building something here. 
And it probably ain't good.
Is it weird if this thing kind of reminds me of the OSI building back in Edgewater? Like it's sort of holy? It is pretty though, in a maniacally wasteful way. I can finally get that journal and get the heck out of here. Is something leaking or does it always smell like this? Not that I'm complaining, I'm just curious. We are receiving an incoming signal, Captain. Captain, I see you've made some headway on Gorgon. Mother's old work terminal just lit up with a bunch of new protocols. Very exciting. What about Mother's journal? Any progress there? Are you accusing me of deception? Captain, I would never. Can you hear me, Captain? I'm getting some interference on my end. Captain. Captain! Hello again little weasel i must admit you've surprised me i threw nearly everything i had at you well spotted captain we've both played our roles well but it seems you've got the edge i may have gravely underestimated you you were smart to hire him wilhelmina well done mother you're alive and it's still on Gorgon? I thought she was. Whoever thought a lone scientist could survive for five years on Gorgon? 
This is so you, Mother. Inserting yourself where you aren't needed and at the worst possible time. <sighs> Am I disrupting your vanity project, you empty-headed little... T have you come back just to ruin everything again, Mother? At least this time I have the power to stop you. Captain, this is a distraction. Let's set our differences aside and focus... Adrena Time didn't create Marauders, mismanagement did. By now, you realize that Project Gorgon was devoted to a single drug, Adrena Time. The project was a colossal failure, but you and I are going to revive it from the ashes. Adrena Time was a lie. Our drug will fulfill its broken promise for workers and employers across the colony. Mother wasn't equal to the task. Thankfully for us both, I'm not my mother. That's the spirit. Mother's journal contains the activation codes for the Adrena Time Synthesizer, the key to a new Project Gorgon. We're going to start again, and this time with everything Project Gorgon didn't have. Better R&D, better... Who else? Spacer's Choice. After I showed them the error of their ways, the Corporation couldn't wait to restart the project. If I can improve the chemistry, I can fix Adrena Time. I learned from her mistakes, and I have no intention of repeating them. Listen to yourself! Adrena Time ruined lives. It killed people, changed them. And now Halcyon buckles beneath the yoke of my failure. We can't risk opening Pandora's box a second time. What about my life, Mother? The Ambrose name has no dignity anymore. Every day, workers slump over from exhaustion. The gears of industry swallow them whole, and no one is coming to help. Adrena time is the break we can't fit into the schedule. No, but it's the beginning of enough. Don't let those bloodless leeches at Spacer's Choice walk you down this perilous path, Wilhelmina. You haven't the fortitude to endure it. As usual, Mother projects her failures onto me. If she had let me get involved from the start, we might have avoided this calamity altogether. Enlighten me. You've seen Gorgon up close, so tell me... Precisely. Compound X gets into everything. Air. Water, food. Over time, you and everyone you work with will suffer its effects. You will watch the people you love become monsters. Progress demands sacrifice. We are in the middle of a crisis that will tear this colony apart. And you two are splitting hairs. If I can save the colony and redeem the Ambrose family, with Adrena time, we can increase worker productivity orders of magnitude above ordinary stems and risk none of the harmful side effects. Imagine if we flooded the market with drugs that actually helped people. We could in- We won't be exploiting workers any longer. We'll be celebrating them, giving them everything they need to succeed. No, this is madness. The project, the complex, it has to be destroyed, razed to the ground. It's the only way. You call a solar system overrun with murderous madmen good work? Open your eyes. I need that facility online, but I can't do it while Mother's still a problem. By now, she'll have shut down the Gorgon reactor. Deal with her however it suits you, and get that facility back up and running. Don't do this, Wilhelmina. Minnie, don't make this choice. Adrena Time is our future. It's bigger than money, bigger than family. It's the colony's best hope. Return to my family's manor, Captain. Use the executive override code in my journal to activate the NDA protocol for my terminal. It will destroy the Gorgon drug synthesizer and put an end to Adrena Time for good. One last thing. Minnie. She... She will try to force you to fight her. You don't have to. In fact, I would ask you not to. Whatever mistake she might make, she... She is still my daughter. Captain, in light of recent events, I'm putting the manor under lockdown. Until Mother is dealt with, anyone who lands here is presumed hostile. 
Finish the job. I know you won't disappoint me. Now hold on! I got a quest! Here we go! Sure we can't take a detour so I can fix that elevator?
cozy spot for a desk. Here we go! Sanjar's office before he hired Celia anyway. Reminds me of the terraformers. Makes my skin crawl. I'll give you one thing, little weasel. You are relentless. I did everything in my power to stop you, yet here you stand before me, offensively alive. Just so we're clear, if you intend to re- I don't intend to. What happens next? is in your hands. Kill me now, or let me destroy the... If you believe this will be that simple, you haven't been paying attention. I can no more walk away than I can voluntarily cease breathing. I will die before I let my empty... There is no working with Spacer's Choice. You work for them. If you refuse, they sell your contract to a rival firm, staffed by your enemies. Or seize your housing and turn you out onto the street. And if you've really irritated them, that's what they count on. Blind loyalty. And fear of the consequences of challenging it. You'll never be one of them, you know. Certainly no one told you to kill me and revive the Adrena Time Project. You decided that all on your own. The board doesn't care for Halcyon. They'll do anything and use anyone to see their ends met. 
She might have a point, Captain. Is the board really gonna fix a mess they made their own selves? They haven't done such before. Their ends don't even make sense either. The hell's the point in hoarding bits in a doomed colony? What are they gonna do, plate their coffins in gold? If your captain doesn't get you all killed, the board surely will. She has no intention of curing the marauders. She's only going to make more of them. Adrena time is addictive. I thought we were negotiating, Captain. I'm just saying, when's it ever hurt to try talking first? The only way you're touching this reactor is over my dead body. And I am not afraid to die. Oh, for the love of... No, wait, Captain! So this is how it ends.
The Gorgon asteroid is under my control. The Ambrose family curse is broken, and my legacy will rise from the ashes in triumph. Thank you, Captain. We're going to change the Halcyon colony, this time for the better. As for Mother, what's done is done. I grieved for her long ago. The woman who perished on Gorgon was only her shadow. And indeed I shall. I'll see that Adrena Time fulfills its broken promise to this colony. Thank you for your faith in me, Captain. I haven't forgotten your payment. Here's a little extra for your discretion. I hope she really can help the colony. You can't be everywhere at once after all, Captain. I'm still not sold on this, but... suppose the only thing we can do now is hope they get it right the second time. Of course, my gratitude goes out to your crew as well. Equal contributors all, I'm sure. This has been a long time coming, Captain. I can finally get on with my life, and the colony can begin to heal. Where do you go from here? What heroic challenge will the intrepid Captain of the Unreliable... My faith in the board isn't as blind as it used to be, but I can't fault you for trying. This colony needs true leadership. Maybe even yours. Good luck out there, Captain. I would wish you safe travels, but I do so admire how you rush headlong into danger. 